Hi, Carol here, and welcome to my craft room. I am getting out the Misty. Had a few emails asking me what other things you can do with this Misty. Well, it's probably endless. And I got to thinking, I went through some of my stamps and got to thinking of some ideas, and I thought I'd put it to the test and see what kind of things we can do with our Misty. It's, uh, I'll tell you, Ileana, I wish I was the one that came up with this. <laughs> Isn't that funny? We have thoughts of, sorry, I'm putting the inks, I'm going to use my favorite thing inks. I'm just trying to figure out my favorite things, inks. Say that ten times. So I got out a ton of colors. I don't know if I'll use them all, but let's just set them there and see. I don't know why I put them that far away from me. Let's uh, explore what our Misty will do. And uh, I think it's awesome. Now these um, crazy magnets, you have to put it, these things will snap. It's not so much they snap together, but if they go on top of one another and you're trying to release it with your hand, your fingers, yeah. That boo-boo happened because of trying to do that. These are uh, really magnetized magnets. So I just set them all over the place. Okay, now, the Misty, I use it quite a bit here, sorry. The Misty has its own grid. Somebody was talking about grid paper. Yes, you can, um, you can order the grid paper. I did, you know, I ordered a good little bulk there because uh, it's some things you need the grid paper and because you would have to have a thick stamp because this is impressed down in I'd say a good quarter of an inch down there and uh, so then you have the foam and that'll bring it up for rubber stamps you know because you need a little bit of space and then you have awesome grid paper and uh, it's not that expensive really and the magnets, you can get magnets anywhere, but you know, if you're going to order, they come, this is one pad. They come in pads like this. So um, you can photocopy the pads if you like, uh, purchase them, whatever, but they are useful. Okay, so it has that grid on the bottom right there. Oh, why did I put that away? And you're saying, Carol, you have a part two video to do, hello, on using your jelly pad. Oh, isn't this cute? Look at Janet. Olivia used your stamp set to make my Valentine. Look at, isn't that sweet? I just love it. Dear Nana, Papa. And she did your stamp set. I have that in my room here. Um, yes, I know I have the jelly plate sections. I've already cut them off so that I will use them. Right here's one of them with the jelly plate. This I love because it's it's raised up. We got that raised up image. It's absolutely awesome and I cannot wait to use this. But I'm not going to slap dab a card together because I don't know whether I want to do a mixed media piece. I, I just don't know and, I, and I'm not going to rush it. And then I put some gold behind here and, to see how that would look. And the same thing stands true here. I don't exactly know what I'm going to do with it. And until I do, excuse me, when I do, I will get the video out. And be reminded, if you're going to use, gold paper is expensive. So use a die or just uh, cut around this so you have the guts on the inside to use on another project. You don't need this whole thing back there. Oh, I've wasted so much. Tell me how I know. I've wasted so much paper by just doing this. You don't need it. Cut out the guts and save the guts. That's a piece of hoarder advice. <laughs> so I do have these set aside in my to-do list, but um, we'll to do that at another time. Yes. So let's see. Let's zoom in on this wonderful product that I think is a wonderful product. I just ran up the stairs, so if I suddenly collapse, you'll know what to say. She overexerted herself. 
So what I did was, um, I only want to use one of these. Okay, take your grid paper, just in case I need it, and set it down there. And I will use a magnet right there so it doesn't shift on me. Perfect placement. Mm -hmm. Okay, I cut down some of my inexpensive paper. I was cutting down my good luxury paper, and I thought, Carol, what are you doing? Because I'm experimenting. But then Carol said, what if you want to use it? And you've got this more inexpensive paper. Oh, well, we will see. And then I went in and I grabbed... There's my good paper, because I do think I... I grabbed a bunch of ideas, because if you're like me, my mojo will stop. And I'm, when it stops, it stops. I can come in this craft room a thousand times and sit down and look at a thousand products in here and not come up with one single idea. I'm hoping that won't happen right now. <laughs> but I have some of these sets I haven't used, like this Recollection Watch, uh, or sorry, Timepiece set. I love it. I, I loved it when I bought it. So I'm going to show you one of the ways that the Misty is, one of the ways, four billion ways, this Misty. I think of ideas just sitting around. I have to run and copy it down because I'll think, oh, you can do this. Oh, you can do that. Does anybody know anybody that wants some uh, stamp on the jigs? <laughs> I have a bunch for sale. For sale. I'd like to give some stuff away to somebody that is just starting out and needs some supplies. You know? There's nothing worse, nothing worse than to go online and really want something, you know? And you're on a fixed budget and you, you just fall in love with a certain set or something, and then they want a billion dollars for it. You know, like on eBay. Sorry, I'm trying to get this yuck off there. You know, on eBay, it's so frustrating. So when I sell something, I truly, it's next to nothing. Because I'm not going to use it, or I wouldn't be selling it. And I want to bless somebody. Oh, goodness. Okay, so let's say we're using that timepiece. Let's quit the yuck and and move on to using our Misty. Okay, here's some of the things I thought of. And my friend Inky Fingers over on Stamp Nation, she is a hoot. Um, so many people, so many friends, like Janet and um, Tristan and Michelle and all these awesome people over on Stamp Nation. If you haven't joined yet, get over there and join. You will learn so much, so much. And um, and I always give Catherine a plug, but I never say that my video is over there, too. <laughs> oh, who cares, right? <laughs> so anyway, <sighs> I'm tired. I have to clean my craft room, and that's why I just can't get into this video, because half of my brain, the brain that is so OCD on cleaning, is wanting me to clean. And the other half of my brain says, forget the cleaning. Just craft. So I chose that side of my brain today. Alright, so you have your clock. Let's open our Misty. Oh, and another thing. it uh, I bought this from Ileana, but um, over um, on her website, My Sweet Petunias. But um, this novice cleaner that she recommends for her product, you can get this at at hardware store. I buy this. I have a case of this, believe it or not, and I bought this. I burst out laughing because this is the only thing I will use on my windshield of my Harley. This is it. So if it works for the windshield of my Harley, it I recommend it for your Misty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my soft tail gets nothing but the best. So does my Misty. <laughs> People are saying, Carol's gone crazy. <laughs> no. I'm just having a fun day. Okay, so... I'm doing a card and I want to put a clock. So let's get our clocks on there because this is a pretty nice, uh, turn it around. Yes, I have it around there. So you have your clock and especially for backgrounds, if you want to do a timepiece background, just for the background, it has nothing to do with a stamped image to color, whatever. This is 
awesome. That's what I'm going to use this for. But I'm going to show you something here. So set your time pieces. This is at Michael's. It's got it for 40% off. And I mean, it has all of the, any type of, uh, don't make sure they're upside down, they're facing down, or, you know, it's not going to do any good. And then, um, let's put that, I'm going to build a little background scene here. Let's put time right there. And let's put this huge honk and saying on here that I don't know what it says. I haven't even read it, but we're going to put it right there. Like that. Awesome. Oh, upside down. Yeah, make sure you feel for that. All the smooth sides. So isn't that awesome? Okay, so we take that. This is going to be our background piece now. We're going to close the misty. Make sure that you have your paper in there square. Especially if you're going to do multiple um, pieces. Now, I have seen people that have the misty that suggest putting a roller on here and rolling it but this works well enough for me and you can go on the net and I'm sure there's a thousand you know things to do so to use this for so what I'm going to do here number one I want to show you something see when I do this and I um, nothing professional about me here let's just do this to get this for you if you have a misty. When I put this on, it looked straight to me because I can't tell with my grids. They're underneath this piece of paper. But I can tell on my grid here, this thing. And I can see that my time clock is majorly crooked. So I will straighten it up after the fact. Let's look around. It's my 12 and, uh, and I noticed that my time piece my 12 and my 6 weren't exact, so I'm going to straighten it up. And anything else that looks kind of crooked, I will do that. I'm using my favorite things, Hybrid Ink, absolutely awesome. And this is the Black Licorice, good for painting, Copics, watercolor. I get so scared to say anything now because I think Stays On is the only thing you don't want to use. Um, Okay, I gotta get this out of the way. This is a good. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, that's funny. So, let's say that happens to you where you're hanging on to it. <laughs> oh, sorry. You, you, you had it over there and <laughs> it flipped down by mistake before you had it. Uh, just press it down. <laughs> that was cute. Um, Okay, now you can see, of course, I did not, this is awesome, look at, I did not, um, see, I didn't get done stamping it, yet it fell on me, and let's continue, it's okay because we have that thing in and it's going to have a perfect um, stamp, because that's why we bought it, right, we bought it so we can get perfect alignment. Juice that thing up. Now, I should have went over it with my uh, nail file. I generally do if it's a new stamp because especially if it's not, you know, if it's plastic, it's not photopolymer. Even if it is from photopolymer, it is good to get a dry eraser. This is the best kind of eraser, the white erasers. Where are you there? These. And go over it and then just blot it in your uh, cleaning mat. Okay, so I can see that that's a good juicy. And not all inexpensive. Uh, you do get what you pay for, don't get me wrong, but not all inexpensive sets aren't worth the money. Some are. I make them work. So there we have, let's move this out. I've got it all inked up. Let's get it down on the misty. By mistake it fell, so I picked it up. I know that it's cornered, so I should get an awesome image this time. Press down. You have to be careful, especially if there's letters. Let me remind you about that. If you have a, a words, that wasn't straight either, but this is gonna be a background. Um, don't really press down, because you're gonna expand your letters, and they won't be as crisp 
and vibrant. Just, you know, maybe a press if it is words and letters. Images, you can uh, muck it down and it'll be fine. So let's see. Perfecto. You couldn't get that any better. Isn't that awesome? Awesome. Look at that. Now, this is why I, sorry, I have so many inks out here. I'm afraid of, okay. Can't get anything better than that was what I was trying to say. Now, you have a nice background, yumminess. Say you wanted to add color to one and not the other. That's why the Misty is so wonderful. You have all these images to your right that you can just put whatever colors you want down. But the thing of this is, what about these crazy little time things? Like I want it to say quarter to eight, or I want to say 12 o'clock, and you have all these little arrows. How are you going to do that just by placing it down in, you know, you can't get it perfect. So let's say I want to put the little hand there, and I want the big hand well, I'll stamp that first because I want that ball. It has a ball on the end. So let me move my images off of there. I have to clean them anywho. So let's pick these up. And, okay, let's, uh, I'm going to just check with my, um, this has nothing on it. This wipe is dried out. I just want to make sure that there's no ink going to be transferred from what I just did. And let me just show you. It may not look like there's ink on there, but there is. Look. Yeah. No, it's not dust from my craft room. <laughs> sure could be. I need to give it some TLC later. Okay, so let's close our Misty on that little... Um, Thing there and let's get some I want to do it in red let's say I want to do it in red my favorite things red I love this red hot red so let's do that okay so this is just to show you I may use this on a project you never know my grandkids will use it so let's just boink just as quick as that lift it up and even if, if that fell it would be fine this is what I'm saying. Let's move in on this. Okay, so I have that there. Let's remove it and let's do my large hand because I want it on that circle that's already there, right? And I want it at the 12. So let's do that. And this is what I'm saying. Placement. Always think placement, alignment with the Misty. Um, I'll show you some other things. This is just a quick background technique that oh see what I did that's hysterical I just put it wrong side up don't do that that's a no-no okay let's clean that off but what's good about that you'll catch it when you go to ink it so I'm showing you the do's and don'ts all right so this has to be down Carol down get down right there and Excuse me. Um, let's grab it. Oh yeah, love this thing. And if you're watching, Eliana, I'm going to be a spokesperson for you at your next event. Nobody loves their Misty like I do. Oh yeah, I would sell them. Lickety split. <laughs> Are you still laughing? Okay, so we have the timer down. Are you going to get that with just quick placement? A perfect 9 o'clock. Look at 9 o'clock. Misty. Awesome. Okay, so I have my background. Now, you can cut out and mask this and put things going different ways if you want. You can cut around this. Uh, life is full of beautiful moments. Make them count. Put um, an image around that, but I don't want to do that today because I want to do some playing with it just to show you how you built things on there. 
um, I brought out some sets. So that's one good use. Let me grab these so I don't lose having to clean that up. I always check with not a damp cloth with just a dried out um, baby wipe. Okay, let's go on to something else. I took a bunch of these here. Um, okay, here's a good scenario. You have a big stamp that is um, rubber. Your good old rubber stamp. You'd have to use a stamp and a jig to put on. I haven't used this yet either. Look at the backing is still on it. Oh, I wish I had about a few people that would just come and go through my craft room with me and I would give them a basket to fill up just to have my stuff organized. I just have, it's just too much. It's overwhelming. I'm, employ, I'm imploding on myself here. Okay, enough of that. Who cares, right? That's my mess to have to deal with. Let's get a piece of paper nice and clean. Slide it under your magnet. Corner to corner. Make sure that thing is in there. Now, some people don't like to buy like inexpensive cheap stamps. I do. If it's at Michael's and I can get it for 20 cents, I buy it. And I'm going to show you why with this Misty. I want to have this swing up. Okay? On my... I want it to be right there on my piece of paper. As close to the ground as I can get. Now, when you close your Misty, this is what I want you to see. If you're just going to purchase one and you want some... Um, you know, FYI, I will show you. When you close it like that, if it will not stick, like if you won't get the feeling of it, uh, you just take out some of your stuff. Now, let me just show you just for uh, information here. Let's say, can I use this grid and put that down? Will it stick on a sheet of paper? I can feel it. Let's put the paper down. This is what you have to check. Get your magnet on there. And then let's try it with nothing. It's nice and even. I can do it. So let's set that aside. The only reason I like to have that foam, because you get a nice, but you don't need a whole pad, is what I'm saying. Let's keep the foam there. You get a good impression. And get that in the corner. Put your magnet up there. I think I bought six magnets. I'm missing one. It's stuck somewhere. Um, okay. So there, I can feel that. Now let's get our hybrid ink here. Once you use this hybrid, it's so black and yummy. Even if you buy just this for your collection and you don't buy them all. My favorite things makes a wonderful ink. So does it, I don't buy things because I don't like them. I love my Stampin' Up! inks. I love my chalk inks. I love my, you know, Memento Lux. All of the inks I purchase, I like. There we go. I'm going to show you how this, these inexpensive stamps come in handy. If you are doing something like this that requires having to look at an image. Um, there we go. And I don't press hard the first time because I can always go back. I don't have to go back. It's perfect. Okay. Let's come up on here and I'll show you. You want to build a nice... Uh, why is that doing that? Uh, you want to build... Doesn't that look odd? There. Okay. I want to build something around this. I'm going to have to hurry. And I want to use colored inks. I have to move this over. So I'm taking another set. And I'm going to take my, um, Allie, can you help me here? These stamps. <laughs> Flourishes. Thank you, Allie. Oh, I'm so glad you're there. And then I want to have some rocks here. I want to have some rocks there. Just this big one boulder. I want some boulders. I want this here. Whoops, upside down. Don't forget. There, I'm building an image. Let's get this off. Make sure you have that little cloth there that I had. And because you don't want anything sticking. 
where you don't want it. No ink going anywhere you don't want it. But you're building an image off of other stamps. But I don't want to cut this boulder necessarily. Some stamps I don't mind cutting. Let's pick that up. Awesome. And sorry I have to keep moving my camera. I only have a few minutes. Yikes. I'm going to do two parts because I have uh, some valuable stuff here I want you to see if you're purchasing your Misty. I want you to be able to see this. Okay, so let's get some green. No, brown. What am I thinking? Let's get some of this uh, craft ink from my favorite thing and do the boulders. Now, I'm not going to take all day to try and just get a little bit on here. I'm going to wipe it down so quickly. Quickly, Carol. Cover my inks. I like to cover them right away. Take this. I don't want this part of that boulder. Okay? So, I'm not touching the misty here. I'm just... I may get it, but you know what I mean. Just for time's sake, I'm going to show you. There's my swing. Okay? And let's get that on there. There's my boulders. Awesome. Awesome. This is a perfect scenario. See this one right there? It didn't get fully stamped. And I don't like it so light. So I'm going to come back with the dark. And I'm just going to add a little bit for some contrast. Then I'm going to take a piece of paper quickly. Here I'll just a piece of paper. Like this. And I'm going to mask out what I don't want right there. Okay, so I have this up in the corner. I'm masking that out because I have black all over. Grab my Misty, close the lid. Can you see that? I want to be able to see that. Okay, just for this one I'll do it. Come right up close. I'm going to go into part two. I have a whole lot of things I want to show you. Okay, and then press down and you have a much better image okay so I did not have this tucked in the first time but that's okay let's grab the craft ink I'll show you something art it, boulders aren't perfect so let's get this and see I want to show you just to see how off I was there yeah it was my fault I moved the paper Nothing to do with Misty. There we go. You have ghosting. Fine with me. Just make it up. Don't get frustrated. And quickly, here comes the cheap. I got this for 40% off. I paid $1.10 for this stamp set. I want a girl sitting on this swing. But I want her to be uh, photopolymer so I can see it with my Misty quickly. So I'm going to take it. I'm going to cut her in half with my scissors. Let me find some old scissors quick. Okay, place her right there. I want her sitting like that. Okay, I want her there and I want just her feet right there hanging from the swing. Quickly, Carol. You can put that back together. Let's see, 25 seconds. I can do it. Pick it up. Stamp it, and we'll go into part two. I'll show you some cool ideas. I'll upload this. Hurry, Carol. There you go. Show it. Is that awesome or what? Yay! For Misty. Her little feet 